Good evening. <clears throat> Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Okay. Good evening. Good. good, good, great. Great, great. Happy to have you back, guys. Okay. Yes. All right, so there are some Okay, good. Okay, remember that Last night, we said that we were going to have some practice today, right? Um, about the vocabulary from unit two, from section two, just to see if you had any, any questions. And what we're going to practice is, we have to remember the parts of the body uh, the expressions, for example, whenever I have or whenever I feel, okay? And then the common medications that we take. And also we have to use some uh, imperatives, right? Part of the body, whenever I have, whenever I feel, the common medications that we use, and obviously, the, some recommendations, right? Using imperative uh, verbs. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about what you're going to do? For example, you're going to get into groups, okay? We're gonna get into some small groups. And then you're going to practice, for example, you can say, uh, suppose Walter and Senia are there, and then Walter said, oh, hello, Senia, how are you? And Senia says, oh, uh, I have a headache, Senia says. And then Walter will uh, answer, will reply and say, oh, Senia, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Oh, really, Senia say, thank you very much. Okay, and then Walter said, okay, don't uh, don't stay up late. Don't watch too much TV. Okay. Uh, drink a lot of water. Some recommendations using this. Okay. Estamos claros? Más o menos una interacción que van a tener usando ese vocabulario. Yes. 
Hello. Yes, okay, teacher. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good, good, good. Yes, teacher. Okay, so then I will make the group. Yes, teacher. And I will visit the groups just to see if you have any any other question. Okay. Now let's see. We have. Uh, yes, it's going to be a small groups of three. Okay. Let me see. Six. There you go. Okay. lo que tenemos que utilizar no sé qué quién gusta empezar una conversación eh. okay remember what you have, what you're supposed to do for example, if I say to um, Jose, um, I have a, I said I have a tooth, a toothache. What would you say? Uh, Hello, Jose. Uh -huh. Or Santos. I I tell the hair is hair is hair is ever a tooth toothache ah toothache ah oh for example you can say whenever whenever when, I have a toothache. Whenever I have, I have to take to a take tooth, a toothache, a toothache in my. I take, uh, I take, I take, I take uh, a anadent. Anadent. Uh huh. I take anadent. I take uh, what? A, I take a. Uh, Bicarbonato, ¿cómo se diría? Bicarbonate of soda. Huh? Carbonate. Bicarbonate soda. 
Caroline Soda. Uh, you can also say, um, you can say, I go to the dentist. Whenever I have a toothache, I go to the dentist. I call, okay. I call the de a dentist. I call a dentist. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. And then you say, don't eat too much candy. Okay. Uh, brush your teeth. Remember, brush your teeth. floss. Uh, uh -huh. Floss your floss. teeth. Okay, then this is the vocabulary that you're going to practice, okay? Okay. Good? Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you. Now, continue practicing, okay? Okay. Practice your conversations. Um, your... Whenever I, I have to arm, I colocar or poner teacher? Uh, put. Foot. 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 Uh, foot uh, ice cream. And food. Food. Met, metilo. Okay. This. I feel homesick. Hello. You feel homesick. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello, teacher. Questions? Any? Sí, tenemos una una duda. Go ahead. Es que no sabemos cómo decir una compresa helada o algo así para el dolor de frente. Okay, then you can uh, probably can say put some ice, ice, ice your forehead. Ice, ice your forehead. Your forehead. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. el ponga hielo, right? Like ponga uh -huh. ice como hielo. Uh -huh. Your forehead. Mm, are you for are ice. your forehead? Forehead is la frente. Forehead. Uh -huh. Then say ice. Ice your forehead. Ice your mm -hmm. forehead, right? Then or ice your head. Or mm -hmm. si es en la pierna, ice your leg. Si ice la, your leg. Si es en la rodilla, uh -huh. ice your eyes, your knee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay. Remember, yes. the idea is to, for example, I say, Rina, how are you today? I feel great, honestly. Okay, good. Any problems with your health? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. My tooth. Es que no sé si los pronuncio bien. My That's tooth. Don't worry. My tooth hurt a lot. Your tooth? Sí. Okay. Yes. Now, look. Okay. Look. Whenever, whenever I have a toothache, I go to the dentist. Uh -huh. One. Whenever I have a toothache, I take anodin. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whenever I have a toothache, I I call the dentist and ask mm -hmm. him for some uh, pain relievers. A li uh, como calmante del dolor, right? Pain relievers. Pain relievers. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. another one. And one recommendation is please don't eat too much candy. Don't eat, mm -hmm. don't eat sweets in these days. Mm -hmm. Don't eat sweets. Eh, Fisher, uh -huh. ¿cómo pronuncio bien dientes en general? Es que Vamos siento que palabra cuesta. Diga tú. Diga tú. 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 Yo y tú. 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 Ajá. Y en after, agreguéle una Z. Z. Tú. 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 Y, y dientes al, al, la, en general como la final la final al final ponga la, la lengua entre sus dientes y dice como, como una z ajá sí. y si es plural tis tis sí. tis ajá tis tis ah okay. es que esa palabra no la digo porque siento que no la pronuncio bien no pero entre en la, la pronuncia más que le cuestan porque uh -huh. es cuestión de práctica. Uh -huh. Entonces, Entonces sí. es, como, es como que a usted le duele el pie y no camine y el doctor le dice, no, tiene que asentarlo para que empiece a caminar. Si usted, uh -huh. no, lo hace, si usted no lo asiente y le pone fuerza, jamás va a volver a caminar como antes. Uh -huh. okay. It's practice. English is the same. 
Para eso tengo... Al igual que decir think, ¿verdad, Tiche? ¿Perdón? Think. Al igual que decir think. Ajá, yes. Think, think o think. 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 Ajá, think. Uh -huh. O sea, tú say think, se usa uh -huh. la Z al, in al inicio. Think. Uh -huh. Recuerden think. que el inglés, los, las pronunciaciones son diferentes. Los puntos donde articulamos, hacemos los sonidos, son diferentes. Entonces requieren uh -huh. una, una práctica mayor, pues, o sea, porque hay que, uh -huh. acostumbrar, hay que acostumbrar la lengüita a hacer movimientos diferentes. Uh -huh. okay. casi, casi siempre que va la T y la H, la H unida se pronuncia como Z. ¿verdad? Casi siempre. Ajá, casi siempre. Uh -huh. No siempre. Yes, that's okay. correct. Ok, no problem. Ok, sí. Ok, okay. sigan practicando. Good. Ok. Janet. Y me dice Janet. Y dice, I have a hat. Uh, me I dice, yes, a whenever I have, uh, whenever I have a hat, I take aspirin. Head or you, ache. Uh, oh. I, I, I take aspirin. Or you can take ¿Cómo se dice acetaminofén, prof? Say aspirin, en este caso. Vamos a usar aspirin. 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 ¿Y, y, y acetaminofén y analgésico? Yes, acetaminofén. Es the same. Pero la diferencia es como... Solo se es... En Ajá. inglés se escribe con pH. pH. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y analgésico. Analgésico. Ajá. Analgésico. Analgésico. Es que estamos escribiéndolo. No, es ok, no problem. Okay. La pronunciación que hoy es headache. Headache. Vamos a ver, Janet, headache. 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 Correct. Headache. Headache. Tatiana. Headache. Headache. Correct. Okay, good. Yesenia? Headache. Very good. Okay. Headache. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Excellent. very good. Excellent. Headache. Sería acetam acetaminofen. Acetaminofen. Y analgesic. Analgesic. Uh -huh. Y aspirin. 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 Como aspirin. Ajá, sin la, la, una I no se pronuncia aspirin. Aspring. Aspring. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Ya mm -hmm. que pueden. Thank you. Okay, Thank good. you. Thank 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 you. Será acetaminofen. O, o desde el principio, dale. Oh, ok. Hello, Steve. Hello, Nancy. Well, I feel good. I feel great. Oh, I'm so happy for you. And how did you feel today? I, I, I feel good. I feel good. Ok. Mm. And you? What do you feel? Um, I have a headache. Oh, really? Yes. When, well, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Where I can get aspirin? Well, you can get aspirin at a drugstore. For example, oh. San Nicolás, pharmacy San Nicolás. Ah, okay. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. <laughs> Estamos bien, teacher. Oh, no, aquí buscamos nada. <laughs> Hello, sí. teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Very Thanks good. Nice there. conversation. Okay. That's English. Okay. Very nice. Only, uh, es algo que no hemos visto, pero le dijeron, thank you for helping me. Cuando ocupen for y vayan a usar un verbo después, siempre úsenlo en yes, yes. Okay. De ahí para. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for help for helping me or, or uh -huh. thank you for helping me. Thanks for helping me or thank you for helping me. No problem. La dos. Helping me. Ah. Thank you. Okay. En inglés, la después de las preposiciones se utiliza eh, los verbos en ING. En ING siempre. Mm, okay. Thank you for. 
helping me. Thanks for helping. Hey, that, that's a, that was a very nice conversation. Excellent. Okay. Thank logical, you. logical sequence, good pronunciation, uh, understanding, communication. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. You. Continue practice. Okay. 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 Thank you. Dice que Perdón, perdón. Por ejemplo, cuando dijo que yo me siento enfermo, I feel homesick. Yo me siento enfermo. También dio ese ejemplo. Ajá. O, o whenever I feel bored. Ahí sería como en general. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí es en general. Ser, yo, me siento, yo me siento, por ejemplo, homesick. Me siento aburrido, un ejemplo. Whenever I feel bored, I visit my friends. Era un ejemplo que estábamos diciendo. Bien, cuando yo me siento... Ajá, este, I feel bored. I feel bored. Yo visito a mis amigos. Ahí se convierte también... No solo whenever I have, sino que whenever I ajá, feel... Ajá. Ah, está bien, pongámoslo. ¿Verdad? Sería whenever... Yo estaría afuera. Sería whenever I feel bored. I feel bored. Ajá. Ahí sería, yo me siento, cuando yo me, oh, siempre que yo me siento aburrido sería. Siempre que me siento aburrido, ajá. Siempre yo que me siento amigos. aburrido, ajá. Aburrido. Ajá. Sería yo visito a, a, a los amigos. O a mis amigos. Ajá. A mis amigos. I visit my friend, my friends. My friends, ajá. Ajá. I visit my friend. Ah, a mí me gusta ir al cine, pero como no podemos ir. Coronavirus. <laughs> Ajá, me gusta ir al cine, vea. Ah, Verónica, Verónica, only in the movies. <laughs> I like going to the cinema. <laughs> okay, good. Hemos, hemos hecho ejemplos de enfermos. Okay. Y de, y de sentimiento, ¿verdad? Okay, good. No. Another thing that you can do is, for example, uh, pueden hacer un role play, una imitación de conversación. Uh, for example, say, Grisela, how are you? Digamos que I'm fine. Mal. No, digamos que uh, mal. Dice, I, um, um, I feel uh, homesick. Okay, homesick es como nostálgico. And then say, I feel homesick. Okay, whenever I feel homesick, eh, I chat with my friends, okay? Or mm -hmm. I listen to my favorite music, or I, eh, or I watch a nice movie, okay? Whenever I feel homesick, I, I, call, my, okay, I call my best friend, okay? Or I talk to my wife. Okay, so these are recommendations. Uh, these are, you know, like what I do. And also, you, I can say, for example, don't, don't think. Uh, ya podemos usar los imperativos. Don't think about the past. Don't think about sad uh, memories. O sea, recuerdos tristes. Don't think about sad memories. Entonces ahí pueden dar recomendaciones y pueden decir lo que ustedes hacen cuando mm -hmm. la otra persona se siente mal. Ok. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, eh, ajá, eh, Verónica, ask me a question. Ok. Eh, how, are, how are you? How, uh, yo, how are you, ajá. Luis? Ok. Eh, I, have a, I have a backache. I have a mm -hmm. backache. Mm -hmm. Then, I recommend... Whenever, uh, whenever... Ah, whenever I have, I have, whenever I have a bucket, 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 mm -hmm. bucket, mm -hmm. I recommend you uh, take acetaminophen. Okay, whenever I have a bucket, I take, whenever. I take acetaminophen, okay? Uh-huh. All right. I have, okay. I recommend you drink, ah, aquí le queríamos preguntar, teacher. ¿Cómo se, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia té de manzanilla? Uh, what I mean, that's the, what is the manzanilla? The word for manzanilla. 
Es que manzanilla es chamomile. Chamomile, right? Chamomile. Huh? ¿Y cómo se pronuncia? Chamomile, chamomile, yes. Chamomile, sorry. Chamomile. Chamomile tea. Uh -huh. Chamomile tea. Sí, yes. Ah, ok. Chamomile tea. Uh, y, y, por ejemplo, relajante muscular, músculo relaxing. ¿Cómo se dice la palabra relajante? That's a relaxing, relaxing uh, muscle. Relaxing muscle. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. Relaxing so you muscle. Can use, you can use, for example, the muscle cream. Okay, for that. Muscle cream. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. a muscle cream. This is for, I mean, to, re, uh, let's say, to, to lose, to lose the muscle, para aflojar. Mm -hmm. right? To lose the muscle. Okay, you can use, for example, apply muscle cream to lose the muscle. Okay? Okay. Okay, that way you relax. Okay, continue practicing. Conversation is like that. Thank you, teacher. Okay, one time. Mm, yes, yes, yes. The, the ire. The higher is the fresh. Yeah, the higher is good. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are Hi. you? Good, and you? Uh, Hi. Not bad. Not bad? But I'm here. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how was the day? Uh, it was good because uh, I visited to my, my girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's great. great. That's great. <laughs> uh, you, you hey, how, how are you? You 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 feel happy, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Well, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm a, 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 let's say that um, a little bit tired sometimes because I have to do a lot of things, you know, physically, uh, mentally, but normal. Not uh, nothing. Uh, nothing out of the normal. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Yes, thank God. Thank God everything is fine. Healthy, uh, I, uh, a little bit tired. I, I, I can see that, yeah, I can see that you are tired right yes. now. But Do you want to sleep? No, no, I'm not asleep. No. It's just uh, sometime, you know, that if, if, you, if you tell me in this moment, hey, do you want to go and play soccer? I say, oh, no, forget it. Not in this moment, right? <laughs> physically, uh, physically, I'm tired. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. But mentally, I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Any other question? No questions? No problem? No. Okay. Good. So we are about to go back to the groups. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Just uh, here. Okay. All right, people. Good. Uh, yes. Now everybody's back. Fine. Okay. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Okay. It was a nice practice. You know, I heard very nice uh, conversations. So I see that you were, you know, practicing. Algunos que llegaron algo tardecito que fue poco lo que practicaron, but. But the other ones, you know, I heard very nice conversations. Uh, 
Uh, I think that you remember the vocabulary. That's good. And you were practicing, okay? Just uh, remember really? that the idea is when you say, for example, the when you give, uh, there are different ways. There are different ways to recommend. Uh, y, y cuando decimos, por ejemplo, whenever I feel, es una manera sutil, ok, de recomendarle a alguien. Porque a veces que las personas no les gustan que le digan qué hacer, right? O es muy mm -hmm. impertinente a veces decirlo así, mira, cuando, yo te recomiendo que hagas esto, right? So sounds better when you say, mira, cuando yo siempre que yo tengo eso, yo hago esto. Right? Es me, right? Y a la persona verá si toma o no la sugerencia, right? For example, when you say, uh, I have problems to, to let's say, uh, to, with the pronunciation in English. And I say, well, whenever I have a problem with the pronunciation in English, I repeat the word many times. Okay? Whenever I have a problem with the vocabulary, I write it and repeat it many times. Okay, that's what I do. If you want to do it, it's okay and probably works for you. Que recuerden que no todo lo que para alguien funciona, lo que nos funciona a todos, right? Y eso aplica en medicina, aprendizaje, experiencias, many things. But, pero es bueno eh, compartir, right, experience. This is for me, my case, I said, okay, this is good for me. But, and this is what I do probably is good for you too. Okay? Pero ahí se le deja la opción a la otra parte de escoger, right? If you say yes, I, I'll take your advice. Thank you very much. That's it. Okay? So then remember that whenever, whenever I feel, whenever I have, whenever I think, you can use it para todo, right? In many cases. Okay, any other question? Alguna duda, pregunta que haya quedado? About it? No, yo creo que, que ya lo hemos entendido. Okay, yes. No, y, and remember that siempre hay, esto es de práctica, y si más adelante vuelve a surgir una duda sobre el mismo tema, no tengan pena, pregunten, que decía, ay, que el teacher me va a decir que ya lo explicó antes. No, don't worry. Eh, this is, esto requiere de mucha repetición, práctica, y por eso es que lo he hecho de esta manera. ¿Ok? okay. Así que las pueden las preguntas, yo las agradezco porque muchas veces me ayudan a explicar mejor las cosas. All right. Well, right. Ok, thank you. Now, let's go to the platform again, and now we're going to go and see the compound nouns. What is a compound noun? A word that has two nouns. A word that has nouns. Uh -huh. Means another concept. Exactly, right? Very good. By the end of class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss and to, where yeah, you can vocabulary get vocabulary for a store and other place and discuss if we can you get different things. All right, very good. Excellent. Then. Look at this vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay, Here we have. Hi, everyone. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. 
After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. You can buy. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, here we have, right? You can buy pencils at a bookstore. You can buy a dress at a department store. You can buy a television at a supermarket here in the S. Can be a department store, supermarket too. Okay, you can buy dog food at a supermarket. Okay, you can buy shoes at a shoe store. You can buy meat at a supermarket. You can uh, buy quality books in a bookstore. You can buy pupusas in a restaurant. Or, or where is the, uh, was Veronica, right? No. Who was, that? Who was selling pupusas here? Remember? Excuse me, excuse, excuse me. Who was selling pupusas here? Ah, uh, you can buy pupusas at the Sandrita. Okay, that was the one, that was the one. Okay. And then you can take, yes, you can take soda in a restaurant. Yes. You can buy the food on, uh, at the supermarket. You can buy a tie at the department store. You can pay your taxes at the bank and you can pay. You can purchase. Okay, you can pay the purchase at the checkout. And here you have all these activities that you can do. You can buy the house order, right? Aquí está hablando de donde puedo, donde puedo comprar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y, y este <coughs> y el can el can el el where can I get? Uh -huh. Where can I get? Sí. It's a question. Ese es como That's preguntando a, question. a dónde. Uh -huh. a, exactly. a dónde puedo comprar. Exactly. Entonces cuando a usted le pregunten a, a dónde voz. puede comprar las pupusas los va a mandar para donde mí. Estaba <laughs> eso lo que yo quería ver. Ah, no me acordaba quién era el que la estaba vendiendo ya. Ah, <laughs> Okay, so they say, for example, where can I, where can I get some delicious pupusas? And then I will say, you can get okay, some yeah. delicious pupusas delicious at pupusas. Janet. At Janet. At Janet. Okay. Restaurant. Yes. Okay. Lo, di lo dije bien. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. That's that's the commercial. Okay. You yes. see, but that's the question, right? Where can you get? Okay. Where can you? Where get? can you get? It's a question. Sí. Es el ayer, ¿verdad? The listening, yes? Sí. Yes. We have this one here. And then yeah, we... I see. At the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Remember this? Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. These were the ones. What is the first one? Post office. Post office. Okay. Post office. Post office. Second Gas one? Stations. Gas, Gas stations. Gas stations. Next one? Gas station. Restaurant Red room. Restaurant room. Rest room. room. Yes. Rest room. Rest room. Coffee Next shop. One? Coffee, Coffee shop. shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Yes. Next Drug one? Drugstore. Drugstore. Drug Next one? Supermarket. 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 Bookstore. 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 And department store. Department store. Farm. Department store. Uh -huh. Department, Department store. store. Department store. Ok. Eh, solo recuerden que el inglés siempre lleva un poquito más de fuerza 
de cómo hablamos el español, ¿verdad? El inglés viene más de la parte glotal, de la parte de acá adentro, y el español es más de aquí, de la parte, digamos, vocal. Right? That's why we say tough, office. Nosotros casi no, no tenemos muchas consonantes en una palabra. Solo miren acá, department tiene una, dos, three consonants. Y aquí son, eh, y nuestro idioma es con sílabas. Right? Mm. Departamento. And then it's easier. So here say department. 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 Bookstore. Book supermarket. Supermarket. Drugstore. Okay, so then that's the, the emphasis. Okay. Here we have. Okay, Max, can you please read okay. the objective here? Yeah. By the end of this class, you will learn propitiation of place in order to give Direction. Mm -hmm. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. 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 Okay. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, now, eh, ya aprendimos a preguntar, where can I get, for example, where can I get uh, uh, meat? at the supermarket, okay? Mm -hmm. You can get meat, meat at the supermarket. Okay, pero ahora vamos a ver where is the supermarket. Mm -hmm. okay. ¿Dónde está el supermercado? The, the supermarket is the bank on the corner of Main, Main Street and Second Avenue. Okay, hoy vamos Next a dar direcciones. Okay? Direct Direct address. Address. Directions. We're going to give directions. Directions. Directions son las indicaciones de cómo llegar en the address es la dirección postal. Okay. Okay? All right. Okay. Now, listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. 
let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main the and corner. First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The yes. movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone! In this class, you'll it's your turn to practice. Gas station. Where is the hospital? Okay, if we can see this, well, we have the prepositions, we have on, that means on the street, right? Sobre tal calle, right? On the corner of, mm -hmm. en la esquina de, right? En la esquina. Across from, across from is, for example, you know UCA University? Yes? Mm -hmm. What is, what is across from UCA? Between. No, what is across from UCA? What is across from UCA? Mm -hmm. hmm? What is across from Metro Centro? Uh, hotel, hotel, hotel reality. Okay, uh -huh. hotel. Intercontinental. Intercontinental Hotel. Right, and across from Muka. Excuse me. There is a call center. There is a call center. Get com. Get com. Mm. Uh -huh. Get com call mm -hmm. center. Okay, that is across from. Okay, across. Uh, uh, hey, uh, questions. Uh, for example, you said uh, Uka is on Los Proceres Boulevard. On. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we have, for example, the let me see uh, another place that you know, very popular. From um, <laughs> no, no, no. It's just one block. Uh -huh. From from okay. restaurant Herradura. Herradura. Okay. No, that's. La Uca. No, but that's um, no, it's, not a, it's on the Crossroads Boulevard. Yes. Oh, bye. Yes. Okay. Me, a pregunta, here. teacher. Uh huh. Who is asking question? Yeah. Next Quiero to Torre Cuscatlán. Uh huh. Eh, cuando dice across no se refiere exactamente como cruzan, cruzando tal parte y por no, ejemplo cruzar. como Ajá, no sé si como, así como decía de Metro Centro, no sería in front. Eh, no, ahí tengo mi duda. Across from. Across from. Across sería frente a. 
Frente a. Y para, y, y para decir frente a, no, entonces sería cross. Across from. Y para decir cruzando el parque. Como decimos aquí en El Salvador, eh, digamos, la iglesia está cruzando el parque. Go through the park. Ajá. Walk through the park. Ah, a través del parque. Okay. Across from es... Across frente. from es eh, enfrente de. Enfrente de. Yes, okay. that's in no English. No se puede usar in front. In front no se puede usar. In that case, no. In that case, okay, no. thank you. For example, um, let me see. In front of sería... Ahí en la, la parada de buses que está enfrente de la UCA, in front of the UCA es la que está en la misma acera de la UCA. Okay. Hay una parada ah, de buses. Okay. Sí, sería Pero justamente. Ya, al otro frente. lado es across. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Es como cuando va al cine. Okay, okay. La persona que está delante de usted está in front o across. In front. Uh -huh. across. Uh, in front. Uh, in front, right? Y la pantalla está yeah. across from. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Ahí podemos ver eso. Ok, gracias. Ok. Gracias, gracias. Good. And then, when you see here, for example, where is gas station? Where is gas, gas station? It's on the corner of... The corner. First Avenue. First and, Avenue. And Center, Center Street. Center. Uh, Center. It's on the corner of Center Street and First Avenue. Te dan los nombres de las dos calles que hacen esquina, uh -huh. right? Where is that station? It's on the corner of... Fair Avenue is Center. Avenue and Center uh, Street. What is the hospital? This hospital. Where's the hospital? Hospital. Uh, um, uh, the hospital. In the corner, the first Avenue is Center Street, donde está el helicóptero. This one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. the where the, where the, helicopter, the helicopter is. It's on the corner of First Avenue and corner. Avenue, mm -hmm. right? Look at the front of the gas station, right? Across from the gas station. Across. Across, across from the gas station. Across, across from the gas station. Across. Across from the gas station. Si dan cuenta aquí, estamos dando referencias, right? Reference. Okay, reference. Uh, where is the U.S. Post Office? I think it's this one, right? Yes. Okay. In the corner of uh, Center Street and Second Avenue. And Second Avenue, right? The corner of Center Street. On the Center Street. And Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay, where is 2nd Avenue Bookstore? Bookstore. Okay, the microphone please, with the sound. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh -huh. where is the 2nd Avenue Bookstore? Bookstore is 2nd Avenue. 2nd Avenue. 2nd Avenue. Okay. It's Center Street. All right. So then we have bookstore. What is the bookstore? This one. Right. Yeah, here, right? Oh, mm -hmm. here. Second the, Avenue. The Second Avenue and Center Street. Mm -hmm. And where is Dan's drugstore? Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. Dan's drugstore. It's on the corner. Of Second Avenue, Center Street, next to the supermarket. Next to. Okay, remember we have next to. Okay. Next to okay. la parte. Uh huh. Then you have and next. Across to the restaurant. Uh huh. Then you have here the mm -hmm. department store. It's next to the Citibank. Citibank. Uh, Citibank is next to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the Citibank is. Between, between between the department store and the department store and the what? restaurant and the restaurant the restaurant and the restaurant the Regency Theater is across from the park the park, the park. Mm -hmm. across from the park across from the park yes across from the park good. 
So this is it's okay. We have to. Buenas. So we have this one. No. And yes, remember this conversation. Where is the US is used in the real life? It's across from the park. Okay, listen to the conversation. Part. Let's listen and practice. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Okay, see for example, excuse me. This, this excuse is a practical, right? Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Okay, baño public, right? Mm -hmm. And then the lady says, A public restroom? Oh, no. Sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. So you see, this is a practical conversation using the direction, right? Uh, and explaining, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public? Is there, what is, is there? I, de haber, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a public restroom around here? They say, public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. And then my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store. Okay, and then the guy says, where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Okay, and aquí él lo confirma en la pregunta on the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. Yes, it is across from the park. Okay. Okay, so this conversation is what we are going to practice tomorrow, right? Because okay. uh, to in questions like. Right? Where is the restaurant? Where is the gas station? Okay, and mm -hmm. I will show you also uh, like this one. Where is the gas station? Uh, it's on First Avenue. Where's the hospital? It's on the corner of First Avenue. Okay, like this question, but we're going to do it in an oral way. Okay, this is the last of tomorrow's class. Here we have a map. Okay, where are they going? Okay. And that would be it. Okay. So questions for the moment? No question. No. Okay. No question. Just pra practice the the prepositions on, across from, uh, what was the one? Uh, between and next to. Next to. Okay. Next to. Okay. Good. Okay, everybody. So have a very see good night. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.